President Biden disbanded the Trump-era 1776 Commission on his first day of office. The group's aim was said to celebrate and promote patriotic education. Now they're starting up again, this time in a non-government capacity. NTD's Christina Kim speaks to one of its members. The 1776 Commission is urging the Biden administration to drop its proposal to fund history and civics programs that promote critical race theory or related curricula under the misleading name of anti-racism. The Trump-appointed advisory panel, which was disbanded on President Biden's first day in office, since reconvened for the first time on Monday at Hillsdale College in Washington, D.C., Critics of the group say America is systemically racist, and they call the findings of the group racist and political, not historical. NTD spoke to Dr. Carol Swain, a retired political science professor and a member of the commission. She makes a distinction about the aim of the group to promote unifying patriotic education. Uh, we're not trying to cover up America's past and the fact that we have made mistakes when it comes to race relations, but the true story of America is a nation that's always striven to become better. Dr. Swain says curricula like critical race theory are divisive and anti-American, and that ultimately this division serves the interest of America's enemies. For one, she says, people wouldn't want to join the military to protect a nation that is thought to be fundamentally evil. The 1776 Commission aims to counter this and rebuild Americans' common bonds, mutual friendship, and civic devotion. What we are pushing is much closer to Dr. Martin Luther King's vision, where people would be judged by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. America is not supposed to be a nation where we single out any group because of their race or their ethnicity and demonize them you know, for the color of their skin. She says ultimately, education belongs at the local level. And moving forward, the commission seeks to help facilitate grassroots efforts. One of the things we hope to do is to have a website and a way of communicating uh, with groups uh, that they can come and we can be a resource to them. But yes, uh, the change has to happen at the grassroots. She encourages other states to set up their own 1776 commission as a way to study the true history of America and encourage patriotism. The commission urges parent groups to join school boards and local activists to fight back against children being taught false narratives. Christina Kim, NTD News.